Hey guys, Robbie Rue 81 and finally got a new camera angle, but I realized the floor was hurting my ass, so I decided to start a nice comfy chair. And now, it's time for my next video game review. Borderlands. Now, Borderlands, first person RPG, very, very addictive when you first get it, but after a while, you know, shooting bandits and that kind of gets dull, but the side quests kind of stack up against you and you're, you're trying to do everything you can to try and get the quest done or try to rack up level 50 as fast as you possibly can. But the game itself is pretty fun, but I'm, I can't give it a 10. I just can't. Story-wise, the storyline is very, very good, but I just can't give it a 10 because I was never... Some RPGs get my interest. This is the one that got my interest, but problem is sometimes it can seem very very repetitive killing bandits over and over and over and over again now this sorry trying to reduce glare here this I can give it a nine a very good nine just because of the rep repetitivity because the content wise it's great you can customize your suit a little bit you can change your character's name uh, I mean you can reach weapon proficiencies you can upgrade your stock and inventory by rescuing clap traps um, it's just you got a wide variety of options to increase your character to the maximum performance but that's the way all RPGs are is being able to get the most out of your character in the best way possible um, of course you're on this ancient uh, you're on this uh, planet called Pandora and you're trying to find the vault now in the vault it contains all these precious treasures <gasps> Ooh, and uh, items that will be will of the human mind. And the problem is, everyone is looking for the vault. Some people just hear about it and go, oh, it's an old folk legend, don't worry about it. But you, you're a hunter. Well, you can you got your certain class, but in the story I think he says you're, there's a bunch of hunters that go out and try and find the vault. And you're one of the hunters. Now, each one has its own specific class, and once you get that class, you can spec into certain things like... Uh, me, I play the berserker in my group, and my and I usually speculate in tank. So, I sit there, I put everything in tank, I put a few things in support, and I put a few things in brawler because a good uh, extra few punches here and there, and increasing your ammo supply is always a good thing, no matter what class you are. Uh, and when I rare, when I do when I do play as the uh, soldier, I spec in medic because health is always key. Uh, I haven't tried the Siren or the Hunter yet, but um, once I get a little further ahead in my Berserker story, I'm going to restart again as the uh, Siren and the Hunter so I can get their uh, specs out the way and get them started on their goal. Uh, but interesting thing about, very good thing about Borderlands is you can play with friends. It's not, it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, uh, I feel like playing... Feel like playing a, I feel like playing a Berserker, and I'm going to play with my friends on this day, and let's see, if I'm the Berserker, someone else could be a Berserker with me. I mean, the whole party can be nothing but Berserkers. Hell, the party could be every single character in the game. It doesn't matter. The point, it's just, the game is very fun, and the game is even more fun when you play with someone instead of sitting there by yourself, because that's the problem I always got. But I got an earpiece... I got a I got a headset, but I'm not allowed to open it because my dad got it for me for Christmas. So uh, until about a month from now, I'll be able to pop my earpiece in and I'll be able to actually communicate with my party. Until then, but it's all great and dandy. I mean, I can still do it now. I do have a microphone, but I don't like using that one because I'll I don't like using that microphone. So I got a nice little Bluetooth headset for Christmas, but I'm not allowed to touch it. But it'll make the game more fun. But this game for content and everything I give it a nine uh, if for what from where I'm at right now this game stands as a solid nine but I'm pretty sure if the game keeps repeating itself this game is gonna eventually drop down to like an eight or a seven because the only thing I'm encountering right now is nothing but bandits after bandits after bandits it's kinda getting repetitive and irritating but I'm gonna give it a nice solid nine to get my keep my hopes up for it from where I'm at now because I'm about halfway through the main quest and story here but it's just, I'm, I got that little glimmering hope that this game will pick up at the last minute. Like, pick up and make it worth and screech that nice, solid nine. 
because even though if it gets to nine, it's like the most climactic ending ever, you still got the fact that it was repetitive as hell to get to where you need to be. So, Borderlands, 9 out of 10, very replayable, even more fun when you play with friends or random people online who ain't total idiots. Uh, plus, the little fun thing with uh, online stuff is you can brawl and get some more trophies and achievements. And uh, the downloadable content I have not tried yet, but I more than likely will get it before the year is out. And uh, this is Robbie Roo 81 Stay tuned. Oh, there. Now that I've done... A, 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 let's see, I've done... One sport game, one RPG, one shooter, and one horror. It's time to break the chain. So next is my first racing game. I mean, yeah, it's not in standard PlayStation 2, well, 3 case, but I bought this from Hollywood Video. I rented this from Hollywood Video, but while I rented it, the store went out of business, so I kind of got a video game for very, very cheap. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I kind of wish I rented a very brand new game when they went out of business, because then this would have actually been worth it. But it's all good. Uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles, renting. A, a rent game that I paid five bucks for can't beat it because the store went out of business because uh, mostly uh, game gamefly and uh, all the other um, gamefly Netflix and uh, the red box has pretty much put all video rental stores out of business but yeah for the next uh, ter for the next Thanksgiving stuff for game review video package midnight club Los Angeles. Make sure there's no dub in there because I know there's a Midnight Club dub edition. But this is Robbie Rue 81. Stay tuned.